In the spring of 2020, countries started to suffer the impacts of the coronavirus pandemic as the sanitary situation worsened and economic restrictions had to be imposed. The world economy was subject to supply chain disruptions which, in turn, have caused shortages of basic needs in many regions. According to official UN data, the world gross product recorded an estimated decrease of 4.3% in 2020, the worst economic scenario since the 2008 financial crisis. After two years of emergency fiscal stimulus, the debate on industrial policy has returned, and therefore many governments have decided to design economic plans for the post-pandemic situation of their countries. As an example, in this video, we will see the French government efforts to first, recover its national economy, and second, to take the country to a better position in the end of this decade. Following the case for the world gross product, the French economy also recorded a decrease in its GDP in 2020, as the official figures show an estimated 8.3% fall in economic output was recorded by the French economy. The data also reveals a decrease in 13.1% in manufacturing and a decrease of 7.1% of household consumption for the same year. In 2021, when the sanitary situation showed signs of becoming more controlled and economic restrictions could start to gradually be lifted, the winds changed for the French economy and a 7% growth was recorded in the GDP. Manufacturing and household consumption also recorded positive data, with increases of 6.3 and 4.8% respectively. Even though the figures show a bounce back in the French economy, some structural issues regarding economic output of major sectors and the catch-up in technology still had to be addressed. Considering this, the post-pandemic situation could be used to boost innovation, rise competitiveness in selected sectors, and to enhance the capacity of resilience to prepare for future disruptions in the economy. With these aims in sight, Macron's government released in October 2021 the plan entitled France 2030, which comprised of a total budget of 34 billion euros to be invested in a diverse range of sectors in the French economy. The plan sets many objectives to be achieved by France in 2030, including a concrete transition to a more sustainable economy, as well as to put France as a leading player in many economic sectors. Therefore, these objectives can be summarized in different categories regarding their broader economic goals, the sectors involved, and the budget distribution. The largest part of the total budget will be used to finance activities related to the transition of the French economy to a more sustainable level. Actions including investments in the energy sector, especially in nuclear and hydrogen research, will help the country meet its green economy targets and enhance its energy security. Investment in hydrogen research puts France closer to achieving a renewable energy-based national grid, and as a leading country in the technology frontier, once hydrogen can be used in different modes and to power different economic activities. Comparing France with some European counterparts, we see that the country has a clear preference for nuclear energy, since around 67.1% of the total electricity consumed by French citizens in 2020 came from the 56 nuclear power facilities distributed in the territory. Investing in the major sectors of a national economy is an important element to the success of an industrial policy. By knowing this, the France 2030 plan includes investments in the following sectors, transport, food, healthcare and entertainment and culture, 
as they are responsible for large economic outputs and employment rates. Regarding the broader transport manufacturing sector, the objectives defined are related to providing front, first, with more than 2 million electric and hybrid vehicles, and second, with the necessary arrangements for investments in future projects such as low-carbon aircraft. And when considered the investments being made in the energy sector, as already mentioned, industry links with transport manufacturing can deliver important achievements in terms of innovation. With an average budget of 2 billion euros, the inclusion of the food sector in the France 2030 plan sets objectives regarding the development of a healthier and more sustainable food production in the country. Considering the power of the French agriculture in terms of value-added, the investments in the food sector also have a national approach, since this economic activity employed more than 10,000 people in at least 10 of the 13 metropolitan French regions in 2018. Another sector to receive funds from the plan is the healthcare one. A large amount of 3 billion euros will be directed to the development of new medicines and also to prepare the country better to deal with emerging diseases and emergency situations, such as the one experienced in the pandemic. Finally, the investments in the entertainment and culture sector will follow geographically located criteria, which have selected regions such as the Mediterranean Arc, Ile-de-France and the Nord to receive the largest parts of the budget for this sector. The third category can be attributed to the investments in new domains, especially in outer space and seabed. Here, the French overseas departments will be of strategic importance. France has the largest economic exclusion zone in the world, primarily due to its territories overseas. Departments and regions outside of metropolitan France could then benefit by receiving large amounts of investments for exploration and research purposes. The outer space has also been selected as a priority to France's post-pandemic plan since it demands major investments to master the technologies used in the proper research of this new domain. Encouraging French enterprises to innovate in this field would go alongside the objective of having France as a global player in space exploration. The country already has a part of the necessary infrastructure used in this sector with its satellite launching base in the Department of French Guyana in South America, which, in turn, could be considered as a competitive advantage when compared to other space exploration capable countries. The France 2030 plan seems to provide all major sectors of the country's economy with the necessary investments to recover their economic activities from the impacts caused by the disruptions during the pandemic, but also an opportunity to adapt the country's industrial complex to the needs of the 21st century. With the right government planning and a concrete roadmap to achieve the objectives proposed, the plan can work as a long-term strategy to better position France in terms of innovation and technology leadership. A more resilient economy also means a more competitive one, and by knowing this, the French government takes a step forward to provide its national and most important economic sectors the necessary arrangements to keep them updated when compared to competitors. Moreover, even though France 2030 is a national plan, a closer cooperation with the European policies could also bring good results. Since the economic transition to a more sustainable level is a shared goal between France and other European countries. And also, some of the sectors mentioned have supply chains that expand beyond French national borders. And what do you think? Is France 2030 a well-designed plan for the post-pandemic situation of the country? Let your opinion in the comments below and I'll be glad to read your feedback. If you have enjoyed the video, please consider clicking the like and subscribe buttons. Big thanks!